Hi, I'm Kim Jamison Hurst. Welcome to Chatterbox Quilts. I am an avid vintage sewing machine collector. If you know me at all, you know I have lots of these machines around the house. But I wasn't always a collector. But you have to start somewhere, right? So the first machine I got was this Singer 99K. Now, when I bought this machine, and I lucked out because it's in great shape and it came with a cabinet that was in really good shape as well. But when I first went to look at it, I didn't really have much knowledge about what I was looking at. I didn't know much about the machine. I'd never bought a vintage sewing machine before. Hadn't done a lot of research. It looked pretty. That was appealing. And it turned out that it was a great machine and a good deal. But when I went to look at the machine, the wiring on it in this area here and some other parts of the machine was crumbling, falling apart in my hands. It looked like it had been chewed by mice, I think, maybe. It had been in storage for a while, so that's a possibility. In any case, I plugged the machine in to see if it'd run because, you know, I want to make sure it ran and that the light came on and everything, which it did. What I didn't realize till I got it home was that those wires that were exposed, if they had touched the metal body on the machine, I could have got a really nasty shock off it. So I was lucky that didn't happen or it could have ended my collecting career right then and there. But when I got home, I took a look at it, did a bit of research, and I figured out how to rewire the machine. Did that, works perfectly. So I was able to do that repair myself and that was great. And I got a good deal of machine. Not long after I bought this one, a featherweight came up for sale. Now, I knew a little bit about featherweights, but again, not a lot. I thought this one was a 221, it's actually a 222K. And that is the rare form of featherweights, worth much more money. The price on it was excellent, so I got it and brought it home. It's in great shape, works perfectly. So I'd done a little bit of research on this one, enough to know what the model was, but still didn't know a lot about vintage sewing machines. But I'd got the bug, so I started collecting, of course. And along the way, as I was doing more research, I realized I needed to have a list that I could take with me that provided different things I should be looking at on the machines, uh, an assessment checklist, really. So I have that with me and I use it every time I go to look at a new, to me, vintage sewing machine. So I wanted to share that information with you. So I've created a free download for you, a vintage sewing machine assessment checklist. So you can have that when you go out to take a look at a machine you're interested in. So you can run through all those steps and make sure you know exactly what's going on with that machine. And then you can make your decision whether or not to buy it. So to get that really valuable information, you can just click on the link I provided in this video and you'll have your own checklist to use when you next go out to buy your next vintage sewing machine.